Hello everyone, in this video we will try to learn how to enable or disable proxy settings in Blender Video Editor. So let's just open up Blender Video Editor workspace. By default, right, the proxy setting is set to automatic. So when you import any video clip, right, Blender creates proxy automatically. Just want to show you this. So let me take this video and then this is the sample video, right? And I want to just show you. So Blender creates a folder with BL underscore proxy when you import any video so that the proxy content will be saved into that particular folder. So I do, you don't see any folder in this particular directory, right? So what I will do by default, right? I'll just import this particular video. What happens, right? Once I import, right? It tries to create proxy. So if you see it in the down, so it says it's building the proxy. It takes some time. So what happens, right? It analyzes the video clip and tries to create a proxy for that video which are imported so that it will be easier to work with. Now, if I go in the background, right? And then go to this particular directory, right? So if you see, right? There's a new folder which got created with BL underscore proxy so wherever your original video is there right you are importing that video into blender video editing workspace so it will create in the same location bl.proxy and the proxy content will be saved into that particular folder and the one thing is right you have to make sure that when you are working with a complex project and with the huge sizes right so when you are done with the project and then your your output is ready and then your video is ready right so you want to make sure that you clean up the proxy folder because as you go on right the proxy folder might be getting in a huge sizes it might unnecessary take the space we have to make sure that you clean up the proxy files so let's just show you what i mean to say is that this video is of size around 91 mb only the blender is taking some time uh, because it might be in a high resolution video if you see right now it is on 88 percent let's wait till it completes it and then well i'll show you so by default right it is set to automatic so when you import right any video it creates proxy for it so you can uh, disable the feature so let's just first show you this particular stuff so now proxy has been completed if i go to bl underscore proxy right this is the proxy content which blender has created and the size of this right let me just show you what is the size so it's around 156 mb now original video is of around 9 mb but the proxy the thread which is created it is of around huge size right so that's what i wanted to show you so 156 mb so if you see right 98 mb might be huge compared to this original content so that's what i wanted to say like it's around 50 percent extra once you are done with your project right you make sure that you clean up this proxy folder so let's just show you how to disable um, by default creating the proxy right when you import for that right what you have to go you have to go to edit preferences option there you have to go to settings and when you are setting right let me just maximize this and there is a proxy setup i'll just change it to manual then i'll close this let me just delete this file i'll just delete this folder as well so that the proxy is the proxy which is created right and it should be deleted so now once i import right so it should not be creating any proxies you see right it didn't create any proxy it just imported it and if i go into folder right so and then just refresh it so it doesn't create this folder as well bl underscore proxy this is how you can disable the proxies usually right it's your preferences so if you want to create a proxy for it can by default enable it so i usually sometimes right i just disable it and sometimes i enable and work it so what happens right if you disable and then the problem is right when you have a it it automatically have a lag issue so because it's not created a proxy for you and then it doesn't know like what is the content of this video right so that's what uh, proxies are useful maybe i'll create a, another video on proxies explaining how to reduce the lag or related stuff this video is for only enabling and disabling the proxy that's all i wanted to cover in this video thank you all for watching Bye bye